21st Street Co-op is one of College House's most popular co-ops. Its open spaces, friendly community, and alternative lifestyle make it a welcoming place for its 100 members. I think 21st Street is such a great place to live because as a student cooperative, you actually get a hand in the things that go on here. You get a say in everything that happens at the house. It just makes more sense to live with a bunch of people. I get way more things than I would be getting in the apartment, you know, meals are cooked for me, I have a huge kitchen that I can use anytime that I want, I have a shed full of tools I can use anytime that I want, so I have all of these resources that are pooled together that are available to me uh, that obviously, you know, I couldn't afford to get on my own. I love living at 21st Street because there's a great sense of community here. Pretty much everyone hangs out with everyone else and I feel like I gained a hundred new friends when I moved in to 21st Street. The 21st Street Co-op opened its doors to students and faculty in 1974 when it was built as the first building in North America designed as a student housing cooperative. Since then, it has been home to thousands of residents who will always call it their home. 21st Street is really unique because of the architecture and I think that uh, it, it was built to be a co-op, which most houses weren't. And so it was designed to kind of force people to interact with each other more. And so because of that, I think 21st Street has a really unique culture around it. 21st Street has floor to ceiling windows, you know. There are sight lines all across the building. You walk out of your suite and you can see, you know, not only can you see all the buildings at once, but you can literally see everyone interacting and what's happening at the house. The resources are definitely my favorite aspect because we're such a diverse house that no matter what you need at any time, what you need help with, somebody that you live with will always be able to help you. And that's really, really nice. It really provides a perfect environment for getting to know people. People are really social creatures and I think like being in this kind of environment, being able to talk to people and relate to people and work with people and you know, have party with people a little bit every day is like the, the best way to live. The 21st Street Co-op is a very unique and interactive building. It is a three-story wood and stone structure that is comprised of eight different buildings that surround the communal backyard, kitchen, and common areas. Walkways wrap around the building's exteriors, while single and shared balconies stretch across the back exteriors, giving residents an outdoor space to hang out at. Each of the eight building units has their own unique identities, character, and living styles. Residents are free to make their living spaces their own, which generally result in fun and alternative living styles for the residents. Each building is home to two-story and three-story suites, all with communal living areas and shared kitchens and bathrooms. Each floor is made up of four single bedrooms and one double bedroom, with two shared bathrooms and shower rooms. Bedrooms are very spacious and come furnished with a bed, a desk, and a dresser. Most rooms have built-in lofts, giving residents more floor space for personal belongings as well as a unique feel to each of the rooms. 21st Street is a great place to live because you get a real sense of community with the co-ops. You don't just live next to your neighbors like you might in an apartment. You actually work together and then you live together and hang out together. Yeah, my friends that live in dorms, they live by themselves in their rooms and they can make decisions about where they place their furniture. And that is the existence they lead and they pay twice as much as me for it. If you live in a dorm, everyone does everything for you and you don't get to learn how to do it. But if you're in an apartment, there's no one there to like show you how to do it if you have a question. And I think kids, people underestimate college kids a lot. It's like, oh, they're not ready for this. But I mean, if you throw them into something, they'll adapt pretty quickly. We take care of ourselves, it works pretty well. I've lived at uh, 21st Street for about four and a half years now, and it's been a great experience for me because uh, the people here are absolutely wonderful. Socializing is so easy at the co-op uh, that it really gives you an opportunity to meet others, reach out to others, and learn about yourself. Also, it's really cool that we control it completely so you know in an apartment your landlord sucks or you don't like something about it there's nothing you can really do whereas here if there's anything you don't like you can go to a meeting and you can get it changed basically you have full choice and and ownership of the place uh, if you don't like the way things are going then you can get together with other people and you can change the things the 21st street bike shack is just one of the many diverse amenities of the co-op 
Built in 2009 by residents, it became a satellite bike shop for the Yellow Bike Project in Austin, welcoming both residents and community cyclists to come and work on their bikes for free. Currently, it operates Mondays and Wednesdays from 7 p.m. to 9. The Commons is another hangout spot for residents, where art murals line the walls and a stage and sound system are used for live music and parties. It contains a pool table and fireplace and is a general meeting area. The backyard is also a communal area where residents can relax under the shade of trees and swings and hammocks on the back porch patio area. House meetings are also held out here. The kitchen area is one of the smallest in college houses, but the large floor-to-ceiling windows bring nature right into the dining area, where 17 meals a week are cooked and served by house residents. One of the suite buildings is home to the Dave Tucker Memorial Library, where residents can check out books and games. Plenty of parking is also available in different lots behind and adjacent to the co-op. Other amenities include coin-operated washers and dryers, a computer lab with desktop computers and printer, a free box where residents can leave and exchange goods, and a maintenance shed stocked full of tools and supplies for residents' use. The bike culture is also big at 21st Street, so there are plenty of areas to secure and lock bikes. Lastly, there are a lot of community gardens that are maintained by grounds crews throughout the year and are used to grow food that is used in daily kitchen and food prep. Uh, my favorite part of living at 21st Street is how everyone is willing to work together to really make the house theirs. You can make any changes you want to the house if you come to a meeting and you win a vote. Or if you just want to do a construction project because you think a limestone wall would look good next to a garden, you're sure to find a few volunteers to help you. And then provided it's okay with the house, you can just go out and do it. And we help provide the supplies and the materials. So it really gives you the freedom to exercise creativity with other people. The house is run completely democratically, so officers that are in charge of things are elected and can be removed from office essentially by anyone uh, bringing it up at a meeting. Uh, all house decisions are made at meetings, so essentially you have complete control over your environment. The co-op living experience is uh, all about personal growth, and it really teaches you how to reach out to others. Um, more than anything, living in a co-op uh, is a learning experience. 21st Street's so great too because it, it's, it's all about self-expression. You get to do what you want here, you get to be who you want to be. If you're looking to move into a co-op, 21st Street is definitely a very welcoming place. We're not going to turn anyone away or dis, like, disinclude anyone. If you are new to the city and have absolutely no one, you'll have someone here instantly. I think it's easier, despite the fact that you have to do four hours of labor a week, that six meals a week you don't have to cook compared to cooking for yourself every day. So the division of labor really does help on such a large scale. Also, it's much less lonely. I know people who go to apartments and rarely get out and spend all night alone just watching TV, which might be great for some people, but if you want more interaction, then a co-op is able to provide that to any degree you want.